Muscle cars are known for their power, speed and sleek designs. But sometimes automakers took a different route, creating muscle cars with unusual, quirky or downright goofy features. From exaggerated aerodynamic modifications to whimsical names and unexpected engine choices, these cars defy the conventional norms of muscle car aesthetics. Their unique appearances have always sparked debate, making them unforgettable in the world of automotive history. Here are 10 of the goofiest muscle cars ever produced. The AMC Gremlin X, produced from 1970 to 1978, is a subcompact car known for its quirky and awkward design. Its truncated rear end gave it an almost comical appearance, which set it apart from other cars of its time. Despite its odd looks, the Gremlin X was equipped with a potent 304 cubic inch 5 litre V8 engine, making it a surprisingly powerful performer. This combination of a goofy exterior and impressive performance capabilities made the Gremlin X a unique presence on the road. Its design aimed to offer the interior space and comfort of larger cars, providing a more spacious feel within its compact frame. The Gremlin X's blend of unconventional styling and muscle car power made it a truly memorable vehicle. The Mustang II King Cobra was Ford's attempt to bring some muscle back to the Mustang line during the late 1970s. With only 4,313 units made, it featured an array of gaudy decals, an oversized hood scoop and extensive Cobra imagery that gave it a flashy, almost over-the-top appearance. Under the hood, it housed a 302 cubic inch 5-litre V8 engine, producing a modest 139 horsepower. This was due to the emission restrictions of the era, which limited its performance. Despite its bold and aggressive styling, the King Cobra did not deliver the muscle expected from its looks, earning it a place among the goofiest-looking muscle cars. The 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner Superbird is iconic for its exaggerated aerodynamic features, including a massive rear wing and an elongated nose cone. These modifications were designed for NASCAR, enhancing the car's performance on the track. The Superbird was powered by engines such as the 426 Hemi B8, which produced an impressive 425 horsepower. Its cartoonish appearance, reminiscent of its namesake from Looney Tunes, gave it a distinctive and memorable look. The combination of functional racing design and a playful, exaggerated aesthetic made the Superbird one of the most recognisable and goofiest looking muscle cars ever produced. The Chevrolet Camaro Iron Duke, which was part of the third generation of Camaros, is remembered for its peculiar mismatch of muscular looks and underwhelming performance. Equipped with a 2.5-litre inline 4 Iron Duke engine, it produced between 85 and 110 horsepower, focusing more on fuel efficiency than power. This engine choice stood in stark contrast to the Camaro's traditionally powerful V8 options, making the Iron Duke version feel out of place. The muscular, aggressive styling of the Camaro seemed almost humorous when paired with such a modestly powered engine. This odd combination made it one of the goofiest looking muscle cars, highlighting the mismatch between its appearance and its actual capabilities. The Pontiac GTO, the Judge, produced from 1969 to 1971, is known for its vibrant and flashy design. With loud colours, bold graphics and the iconic The Judge Day Calls, it was impossible to ignore. Under the hood, it offered powerful engine options like the Ram Air 3 and Ram Air 4, which produced up to 370 horsepower. Despite its serious performance capabilities, the over-the-top styling and marketing gimmicks make it one of the more unconventional muscle cars of its era. The name The Judge was inspired by a comedy sketch, adding a layer of humour to its persona. The 1969 Dodge Dart Swinger 340 was a muscle car that combined affordability with surprising performance. Its high performance 340 cubic inch V8 engine, dual exhaust and limited slip differential made it a serious contender on the streets. 
However, its whimsical name, Swinger, set it apart in a market filled with more aggressively named rivals. The Swinger 340's exaggerated exterior, featuring subtle performance cues like a small hood scoop and bold tail stripe, hid its true capabilities. This playful name, paired with robust performance elements, gave the Swinger 340 a unique charm, making it one of the goofiest yet well-loved muscle cars of its time. The 1969 Mercury Cyclone Spoiler II was designed with NASCAR in mind, featuring significant aerodynamic modifications to enhance its racing performance. Its elongated nose and lowered center of gravity improved high-speed stability, while the sleek design reduced air resistance. Equipped with a 351 Windsor engine, the Cyclone Spoiler II boasted both style and power. The car's distinctive racing-inspired appearance, including a flush-mounted grille and fast-back profile, made it stand out. Despite its competitive edge, the exaggerated aerodynamic features gave it a somewhat quirky look. The 1974 Oldsmobile Hearst Olds 442 was a flashy muscle car known for its unique Hearst hatch T-top roof and eye-catching gold-white colour scheme. Powered by a formidable 455 cubic inch V8 engine, it delivered impressive performance. The bold styling choices, including the distinctive colour combination and prominent Hearst Olds badging, made it a standout on the road. The blend of a powerful engine with the over-the-top styling elements made the 1974 Hearst Olds 442 a memorable and somewhat goofy muscle car. The Chevrolet Chevette HS, as part of the T-Platform lineup, aimed to infuse a sporty feel into the economy car segment. Despite its minimal power, the Chevette HS attempted to present a blend of sporty aesthetics within its small, compact frame. The car's design included features like sporty stripes and decals, which seemed almost humorous given its lack of muscle. The effort to market the Chevette as a sporty vehicle despite its economy car roots resulted in an amusing contrast that made the Chevette HS one of the goofiest looking muscle cars. The AMC Pacer, produced from 1975 to 1980, was already known for its bulbous design and large windows, which gave it a distinctive appearance. The addition of a 304 cubic inch V8 engine only made it more unusual. This combination of a powerful engine with the Pacer's quirky, compact body created a unique and somewhat amusing vehicle. The Pacer's wide stance and unusual proportions stood out even more when paired with the unexpected muscle of a V8. This blend of an unconventional design with surprising performance capabilities made the AMC Pacer V8 a truly goofy looking muscle car. So what do you think about these quirky muscle cars? Comment below and let us know which one is your favourite goofy muscle car. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing and entertaining automotive content. Until next time, thanks for watching.